designed to inspire, educate, and empower young adults around the world. Welcome to the Monday Inspiration Show. My friends, welcome, uh, welcome to the show. My name is Jonas Nguriano, and I really want to say thank you for watching the new episode of Monday Inspiration Show. Uh, before I start, obviously, as you can see, we have a surprise today. Uh, we're not having any guests yet. The today guest will be my book, my first book, um, which I wrote about live, love, and dream. Before before I'm tuning in, I want to invite you to stay with me in the next couple of minutes as I'm going to walk you through about the book and uh, everything else and the project behind it. But before that, I really want to take a time to say thank you for all our special guests we had in the show this first season. I want to say thank you to the team, production team, that are always supporting me, uh, Juana and Felipe. And I want to re really say thank you to every single guest who really added value to the Monday Inspiration Show. Officially, the first season of the show, we're going to have two more episodes to end the first part of the season before the Christmas and winter holidays. And I want to say now, uh, take time to say thank you to you, uh, every single one of you who really inspired in the show, who really added value, and obviously who were here for to to support us with everything they have, with their expertise and uh, their inspiration. Uh, of course, as you can see, um, we're talking today about Live Love Dream. Uh, it's a very big, uh, very uh, big surprise. I want to say thank you for watching it, and I want to walk you through the book. As many of you know, uh, why live, love, and dream which is my life philosophy. And uh, as you, I know for sure, uh, many of you already uh, read the book and uh, know about the book. There are many out there who they really don't know about the book. So we're going to run a campaign for Christmas, uh, Live Love Dream for Christmas. That's our message uh, for this year. It was a very difficult year, very difficult time. And I believe everyone for this Christmas needs inspiration. So in the book, I walk you through live, love, and dream, and why everyone else should start live, love, and dream. Now, why I wrote that book, and I have two reasons why I wrote this book. And the first reason is that in schools and universities, they don't really teach us how life works. They don't really teach us what's essential in life. And then the main thing, they don't really teach you how to know about yourself, how to discover yourself. That's, that's the first reason I wrote this book. And it's a book not only with an inspiration, it's a book that walks you through a story, a story of a hero, a story with someone who overcome difficulties in life. And I believe that this year for Christmas, instead of giving gifts things, we should give um, as a gift a book, which I believe is one of the best friends uh, to anyone who really want to have a good friend, a book that can stay with you um, for life. The second reason why I wrote this book is that everyone needs a mentor. Everyone needs someone to be, to be inspired from. Everyone is looking for inspiration to friends, to family, to school, to books, to communities, social groups, and anything else. So that's the second reason. Anyone else, uh, everyone else needs inspiration. You can get inspiration from a movie. If you think about a movie that you watched it long time ago and it was something that inspired you, it clicks in your mind, right? And you and you think about it. Same with the book. You can read a book and actually change your life forever. That's why I believe a book is so valuable. But in our society, nowadays, we don't really value any more books. And that's because we are not focused on that. We lost that focus and we focus on so many other things. I believe... Um, a good a good leader a good someone who know who they are what they do they they keep on uh, reading constantly and obviously and I must say all every day like I do but at least monthly or weekly you should have that as a habit to read and the third reason a very important reason I wrote this book because I believe no one else is too old or too young to learn how to live love and dream, my friend. And when I say that, in my teachings as a coach and as a trainer, as an orator, right, and as a writer, I always teach my students in my workshops only three things, which is mindset, heart set, 
and soul set. And that's why I live, love, and dream. Mindset is helping you overcoming life obstacles and to stay positive in a negative situations. And where the heart set is helping you to understand and feel what you're doing when you put your heart into it, right? Like you're passionate into a project and so on. Or when you study something or work something that you are passionate about. And the soul set is helping you to give meaning of everything you do. This is my life philosophy. And I believe if you can't find meaning in something you do, my friend, just it's just a waste of time. That's why you have to do something that you are passionate about. You have to do something that you, you put your heart into it. And obviously you need your mindset to understand how to get the strategy right and how to do the things to complete what you start. I mean, to finish. Many, many, many of us, we start things then probably we never finish. And that's why it's important to have a structure. That's what I believe, live, love and dream who really inspired you and inspired people out there and already inspired so many. I remember so many of them already bought the book before I managed to, to publish. Now, a little bit about the book. Who is the book designed for? Who I wrote it for? And many, many of us ask, uh, who is that book for? And the, the answer is for anyone who is really interested in, in knowing himself, developing himself, and actually learn about himself, about life, and about things in general, how you can become a better version of yourself. Now, mainly and generally, the book is designed for young adults under 30. When I wrote this book, I was on uh, 29. I started writing it when I was 28, and I managed to publish um, three years ago, uh, which was 2018. Now, the book became so famous because people who wrote it, they could see change in their lives. And that's why I believe, I believe you shouldn't speak only from theory, but start to practice something. But we don't read, not because the books are not interested. You didn't find the, the right book yet, or the, the interested book yet to make, to start reading. I believe it's very good to have as a habit, reading, writing, and also uh, have as a habit to develop yourself and know more about yourself. Now, the campaign for Christmas, which is the main message for today's show, is to inspire people to live, love, and dream. So if you have friends and family, or if you have anyone else who are interested in reading books, you, this is the time for the year where you can give a gift, a book. Now, we give, we give gifts so many things, right? But very few of us, we give uh, gifts as a book. Why? Because we don't have this culture, as I said. And then in the school, we only learn from one side what the teacher are saying us, okay? And we do the home what they say. But we don't have our own independency to do our own research and actually to start learning what we really want, what we think is useful. That's why I believe when we finish university and schools, most of the students, they don't really have direction. They don't really know where to go because they haven't done the work on themselves. Who are they? What are what values are they believe in? Okay, what what they believe as a system, what they think life is about, what they think about themselves. So most students they finish universities and unis and high schools, they they have lack of self confidence, they're not organized, they don't have direction, they don't know what to do with their lives most of the time. And and that's 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 a fault of the system that doesn't doesn't encourage them and doesn't take them in a journey. So we live love dream book, we take you actually literally in a journey of self-discovery, in a journey where you get to know yourself, in a journey where you start sitting yourself and you're exercising and write about you. You learn things about yourself, not about things that are out there. And as I said, as a good leader, you always show people where they have to go because you've been true. But most of people actually in this society, they tell you what to do. And most of them, they never been there or they never did that thing. This is something they speak about being a coherent and congruent person. With this book, what you will gain is self-confidence. What you will gain is courage. What you will gain is direction, vision. And the Bible say that if you don't have vision, uh, people that are, who doesn't have vision, they will perish. Literally, what I mean, then they no go nowhere. 
So that's why it's so important to have vision. So reading this book will inspire you for someone who been abandoned, for someone who lived in the streets, for someone who grew up without parents and grew up in an orphanage, actually how he managed to turn around his life and being someone, becoming someone who inspire others, who motivate others, who educate others. And this is the ultimate sense of success when you walk through and you gain that. Okay, when you gain that, so when you stand by who you are and you do your best in life and in everything else, what you're doing in studies and your job and everything else. I believe, I believe whoever read this book, they will not only gain confidence, courage and direction, but they will really make a wake up thing when you start to think about, oh, I believe there is something more than that. Right? How many times happened to you when you watch a movie or you used to read a book and it start to let you think about okay how things are? I believe this book is not written by uh, by any other books or biographies. It's written by my heart. It's written from my heart. It's written with passion. It's written with real life examples, and it's a book that I encourage every young individual to read it. Now, as I know. For many of you, you already have the book. We started a UK book tour um, just before the lockdown and uh, we didn't go, went to complete it. But what we plan for 2021, hopefully the COVID will not uh, be as this year. So we're going to have access to start again doing our events. We plan with a Live Love Dream, a UK book tour in Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool, London, and then afterwards, take it to Europe, to Spain, Italy, and Romania. At the moment, the book is in English uh, language. We're planning to translate it in Romanian, Italian, and Spanish for the next year. At the moment, where we can, where you can connect with me and where you can read about the book is on Amazon and Foils, if you know the library, and also Waterstone at the moment, okay? If you want to... To have the book as a gift for yourself for Christmas or for others or personalized with the autograph then obviously you can reach me out you can find me on YouTube you can find me on social media like Instagram Facebook LinkedIn as a Yonut coach okay or as a Yonut Julian Unguriano which is my name I'm really waiting to know uh, your feedback from the book what you think about it and I'm telling you, my friend, that will really inspire you. And remember, we are here to inspire and get inspired. So I'm waiting for you to know what inspired you this year and what you are willing to go to do to inspire others for the next year It's come ahead. This book will help you to gain a bit of confidence, as I said, to gain structure and mainly will help you also to write down your goals. And I believe with, only with dreams you know go nowhere. You need goals in life. You need, as I say, discipline. This book will help with self-discipline as well. With habits, there are lots of exercises will help you to be more productive for next year. And so more and a lot more, which I let you find yourself and I let you to be curious about it. And I let you to search for it and ask other people who wrote the book, who actually read the book. And also you can review on Amazon as well to see what other people say says about the book. Now, I decided 10% from the each sales of the book to go to charity. So I'm looking after an orphanage in Uganda, in Africa. So 10% of the sales goes to the kids uh, for food, shelter, schools, medicine, and other things that we need and rent included. So whoever actually buy the book don't only help themselves, but they also help other kids along. And this is my philosophy. This is my message. This is what I want to pass through. They always think about others, always think around, always think how you can give back. So if for everyone who actually have the book for themselves, for others, do you have to think that other people or other kids that might benefit as well when you trying to buy for yourself to benefit from it. This is the philosophy I want to implement. This is the legacy I want to live in. And this is my message from my heart. So saying so, for the time that comes ahead, I inspire you to um, never give up, to always try to do your best, as I said, in any situation. 
And uh, yes, and of course, you have to think before you do any risk. But remember, life is risky anyway, and you have to live your life at the full potential. So my mission is to inspire you, to educate you and empower you to live your life at the fullest, to live your life with passion and to believe in yourself. And my ultimate goal is to inspire you to remember that everything we have to do, my friend, is just live, love and dream. I will see you next week with the next Monday Inspiration Show. We're going to have a lot of surprises. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. Remember to share, to inspire. And the main thing, all we have to do is live, love and dream. Bye for now. Thank you so much. Designed to inspire, educate and empower young adults around the world. Welcome to the Monday Inspiration Show.